What is going on everyone? Platinum B is coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking specifically about should you buy collectible silver coins. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so as you can see here before us today, I have my collectible silver coins in front of us. And what I mean by collectible is I mean limited mintage, semi-rare, somewhat numismatic, highly numismatic in my opinion, coins. And today I want to talk about whether or not you should be collecting collectible silver bullion over just your average, everyday, ordinary, government-backed bullion. So, as you can see before you, we have a lot of sort of movie, nostalgic kind of silver coins in front of us. And I want to talk today specifically about these coins because, in my opinion, these are very, very cool pieces to add to your stack. Now, obviously, I have a bunch of these um, coins that are tied to movies and um, sort of franchises and, and things of that nature. But I want to talk about whether or not you should really be stacking these or just your average everyday ordinary government bullion. So I personally like picking these up every now and then. I like picking up stuff that pertains to stuff I like aside from bullion. So personally for me, I am a very big Star Wars fan. I am also a pretty big Disney fan, and I even have an annual pass to Walt Disney World. Um, that is a place I frequent often. I do not live in Florida, but I do go there quite often. And so Disney, to me, has kind of a special place in my life as far as memories and things of that nature. So I enjoy picking these up. Now, one thing I want to talk about if you are thinking about adding this type of silver bullion to your stack is to try and get as low as premium as possible. Now, how do you do that? The best way to do that is to pick these pieces up when they first come out. So every year, the NIUE Mint will release these sort of movie tie-in silver pieces. And as soon as they release them uh, or sell them to the dealers and the dealers put them on presale, those are usually going to be the lowest premiums you're going to find these pieces for. As you can see here, this is a 2020 Star Wars coin, and for the most part, most dealers are already sold out of this. I purchased these from bullion exchanges, but as far as dealers go, they might even be sold out at this point. They might still have some in stock, but I believe they are the only dealer that still has a sizable amount. Now, this Mandalorian coin was an Atmex exclusive, and I picked this up when it first came out, and it now goes for a much higher premium than what I paid for it. So if I were to sell this, I could probably make some money. Now, I'm not going to sell it, and I'm gonna tell you why. I added this to my stack for a little bit higher premium than American Eagle or a Canadian Maple Leaf, but in my opinion, it adds more value to me specifically just because I like the design and it's something I enjoy looking at and kind of messing around with every now and then. Now, these Star Wars coins, the NIUE Mint has been doing these Star Wars coins for a while and they usually release one or two every year. As you can see here, this is a 2017. I also picked this up and most of these coins up for reasonable premiums considering their mintage and their collectability and things like that. But for me personally, this is just a way to make stacking fun. And in my opinion, there is nothing really wrong with making stacking fun. It doesn't have to be work, work, work all day. As you can see here, this is a 2019 Star Wars coin. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead and show you all all these coins, but I'm going to talk a little bit more. So in my opinion, if you want to add these to your stack, it's not a bad thing to add. You're not going to really lose too much money paying a little bit higher premium 
and at the end of the day it adds to your overall stack and it makes it fun because if you go into stacking and it's all about work and stacking as much weight as you can I know there are people who do that and there's really nothing wrong with doing that but there's also nothing wrong with making it a little bit fun now I do consider this somewhat different than stacking extremely numismatic pieces such as proofs um, you know and things of that nature if you find a proof libertad depending on the year you could be spending the same amount on one coin as you would on an entire tube of silver and in my opinion that is solely for collecting and not hardly at all adding to your stack now there's nothing wrong with slab coins as you all know if you've watched my channel you know I stack some slab coins. I do have a little bit of slabbage here and there. Um, but as far as these are concerned, picking these up as soon as they release, when the premiums are the lowest, it's not really going to hurt anything if you add one or two of these to your cart when you're already purchasing something else. Just simply based on the fact that you enjoy the design or the movie tie-in or what have you. And there is a possibility that you could end up ahead based upon how collectability factors into the future of these coins as well as just what the current trends are going forward. Now, I don't know that the NIUE Mint will be doing Disney and Star Wars and things like that forever. But even if they don't and even if the, the hype kind of dies off on these coins a little bit, it's still one ounce of silver, and I still did not pay that high a premium. A perfect example. These 2020 Star Wars Darth Vader coins, I purchased for about $29 and some change, and that was probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. So $29 and some change. Eagles go for close to 30 bucks. You might find some for $27, $28, obviously in the past week. Uh, premiums have gone nuts and the dealers and everything is just madness but in a normal market or somewhat normal an eagle will run you about thirty dollars so the fact that i spent 29 and change on these star wars coins in fact i was looking for some silver to add to my purchase and i believe the star wars was either the same price or even less than 2020 eagles so i even saved money by going with the star wars over the eagles so Yes, I could pick up probably some junk silver, maybe some call, maybe some generic rounds and save a buck or two. But at the end of the day, I'm not stacking tubes of these things. I'm stacking one, two, what have you. And there's really no harm in doing that because overall, take for instance, this Mickey and Pluto coin. This is a 2020 dated coin. I believe I spent around 30, maybe a couple bucks, over 30 bucks for this coin and this is an Atmex exclusive and to be honest at the point at which this coin series kind of dies off or the NIUE mint starts to change up what they start minting and they 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 abandon the Disney coins which I don't really see them doing but even if they did and these were no longer popular and the trend kind of died off and no one really wants these coins except for their weight by the time that ends up happening, most likely spot price will increase to where the premium doesn't even matter. And I might have even made money just on the metal alone because, again, when you buy these coins outright, as soon as they are released for pre-sale or as soon as they get their inventory in stock, usually the premiums are fairly reasonable considering the design, the limited mintage, and everything of that nature. So because the premiums aren't too high, I don't see a problem in adding these to your stack if it is something you so desire. And so I know a lot of people are kind of newer to stacking. There were a lot of people that started stacking in 2020. There were a lot of people starting stacking this year. And so I just kind of wanted to make this video talking about collectible coins and whether or not it's okay to stack them, okay to add them to your stack, and 
what the options are and what the best route to take is regarding stacking, adding weight, and adding a little bit of fun and collectability to the stack. As you can see here, this was a very popular coin when it first came out, the Back to the Future 35th Anniversary coin. I actually got bought this on a dip and got extremely lucky, picked it up for about $29 and change, which this coin had a higher premium than even the Disney coins. But I got this for a very good deal and I am very happy with it. I have no regrets in picking that up. Most of these coins, I usually only purchase one. If perhaps I don't have enough to fill my cart for free shipping, I might add two or three. As you can see here, I have three of the 90th anniversary Disney coins. They were not too bad of a premium considering. And when I have the choice of picking these up or Eagles for the same price, I'm going to get these for their lower mintage. But at the end of the day, this just adds to my overall stack. I do consider picking up these coins stacking. Now, if I bought them in an MS70 slab, I would not really consider that a part of my stack. If I bought them when premiums for some reason skyrocketed or something, I also wouldn't really advise doing that for stacking purposes. But overall, stacking collectible coins can be a lot of fun. All I suggest is just being careful with those premiums. Try not to spend too much money. Try not to invest too much of your extra fiat dollars into collectible coins and try to just kind of pick up what's available, what's recently come out, things of that nature. As you can see here, if you are a hardcore Disney and Star Wars stacking fan, I have all of the Star Wars series so far, but I am missing some of the Disney ones. Um, the Disney ones usually come out, one at Christmas time, one at Valentine's, other random ones throughout the year, and so on and so forth. But I'm missing some of the Disney ones, and if I wanted to get them, I would have to pay a little bit higher premium than I would have had I bought them when they first came out. Spot prices also increased since the first few Disney coins came out, so that's another thing to consider. I might still end up picking them up in the future if I find a good deal on them, but overall, I am just stacking these for fun and just adding weight to the stack. So yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to talk about today specifically. I just kind of wanted to showcase my collectible coin stack, what I enjoy stacking, why it's okay to add a little bit of variety to your stack and it doesn't hurt. And that extra couple bucks in premium will probably disappear when spot price increases over time like it does. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I appreciate you coming by and checking out my video. Be sure to check out my other videos. I have a lot of videos talking about platinum as well as other precious metals. Thank you to all my loyal followers. Thank you to any new people for stopping by. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And with all that being said, guys, until next time, we will see ya.